Okay guys, we are gonna learn how to do isometrics today for bicep curls. This is a very easy technique for all fitness levels. Even if you're advanced, you get a lot of benefit from adding this to the end of your workout to help break through sticking points and to help crush plateaus. This is like a plateau crusher. So we're gonna be doing isometrics, three sets of 30 seconds, that's it. Now, when we're doing bicep training, the idea is to make sure we're working through a natural range of motion. Most people do internal rotation of their shoulders, they put a lot of stress on their elbow joints, their shoulders. So the idea here is to keep your humerus facing forward, the biceps facing forward, and to figure out the point where you want to work. So most of us have a hard time at the top here. We have a hard time fully shortening this bicep on our curl. So this is what we're going to emphasize. But we want gravity to hit, in our hit a point of our body where there's a lot of resistance. So what we're going to do is we're going to lean forward a bit. Because right here we could hold this all day long because there's no more resistance going through the, through the bicep. But here, now we're being pulled out of flexion. So this is going to be our starting point. And this is where we're going to hold for 30 seconds. So make sure you can establish this point before you grab your weights. And then we're going to work for 30 seconds and we're going to hold it. All right, so here we go. Three sets of 30 seconds. Um, I've built up to 30, so let's give this a shot. Now I'm going to lean forward, and we're going to find a position where you can contract your biceps hard. Like you're literally flexing for a photo shoot. Pull your elbows back, and then shorten them again. And find that place where the biceps are working the most. It's going to be somewhere in here. 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, 1,000, 12, 1,000, 13, 1,000, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Ah! 60 seconds rest. If you watched the last video we did on isometrics, I told you guys you get a rude awakening after the first set. So the first set, you'd be like, oh gosh, this is easy. I can do that, that's good, I'm strong, I can do isometrics, 30 seconds, good for me. Second set and third set, whole different story. Find the position where you can contract the hardest. The idea here is not to make this easy on yourself. So as you can see, I'm kind of like fidgeting with my, I'm just kind of like trying to find that optimal elbow angle, shoulder angle, chest position where my biceps are taking on the resistance. I don't want my shoulders to be taking on the resistance. I don't want my spine to be taking on the resistance. I want it all on the biceps. And while you're doing this, this is a great chance to practice supination. So focusing on turning that pinky finger out so that we can really shorten up that bicep. So this is isometrics also train us to lift properly for our straight sets. All right, let's go again. We'll do one more set for you guys. So first things first, really turn that humerus out. Don't turn your wrist out. Focus on turning the humerus out. We want our biceps facing the mirror. That's an optimal angle for uh, elbow flexion there, okay? That's gonna be the healthiest position for your elbow joint. Okay, none of this crap. You see, you got this crap bullshit. This is horrible for the elbow joint, all right? All right, here we go. your workout guys as you probably noticed about 10 seconds in I cock my elbows back and that just helps pull them into a position that keeps the tension on the bicep so practice that that's gonna help you make you that's gonna help you improve your form okay just finding the optimal angles without any movement all right and then when you transfer that to your straight sets you'll find that you have better control better range of motion better muscle 
uh, mind muscle connection and an overall better workout and a safer workout all right i think i've said enough thank you so much so there's isometric training for you guys three sets of 30 seconds 60 seconds rest and just do that at the end of the workout for the body part you're trying to develop all right with the exercise that challenges the muscle and the angle that it needs the most work thanks so much for watching comments leave them below if you enjoyed it obviously like the video and uh, be sure to be subscribed to my newsletter at vincedelmonifitness.com got lots of exciting things in the pipeline and i let everyone on the newsletter know there first see you guys